pull-ups today because I saw on a post someone was asking me how to do your first pull-up and I'm gonna say that if you want to do any exercise you've got to do that exercise you can't really do other exercises to get better at it so if you want to do a pull-up do a pull-up so one one way to start doing a pull-up is literally just hanging hanging and holding until your forearms get stronger so yeah, you could you could hold for about 30 seconds, build it up to 45, then do 60. And that's a good way of not only holding and strengthening your forearm and your grip, but it's also uh, it's gonna warm up your body as well so that you don't hurt yourself. Because a lot of the time you can hurt yourself just pulling too hard on one of these exercises when your body's not warm or ready for it. Uh, another thing you can do actually is you can do scapula movements. So this is your scapula here. So things that you can do Put your, point your feet together is actually just raise the scapula. So I'm not trying to pull myself up, I'm just squeezing my scapula upwards. And so what's happening is my shoulder blade is going up and down, uh, enabling me to strengthen those muscles as well. And that's also another good warm up. So a lot of these progressive movements are good ways of not only progressing the exercise and the muscles, strengthening so they get you closer to doing the exercise that you want to do too. Uh, then there's the actual pulling, so pulling up from the joints and ligaments. So obviously to do a pull up you're going to have to bend your elbow, so it's like you're punching your elbow down and lifting your, your chest up. A lot of people will do it with a round posture, so actually, actually it's too advanced. Let's stick with this part where we're just bending the elbow slightly. So that's the next stage of going up, is just to try a minimal pull. So it's just a bend of the elbow. A little bend of the elbow. So technically you're, you're breaking into the tricep to bend the elbow to pull yourself up. And then eventually uh, you'll get stronger and stronger, you'll be able to pull a little bit higher each time. Uh, and then the next stage is actually just to get progressively further and higher up and doing it. So eventually you'll just do the actual pull up. But the thing about the pull up, like I said, is the shoulder position. You don't want to be doing it like this. You do want to be doing it kind of like your sternum lifting and you're pulling it like this. So if you come sideways, you can see like that actually it's not this motion, it's an open motion. So I'm lifting up slightly, chest is up and it's open. So I'm almost creating like um, a C shape in my spine. So if you only have to do one rep, uh, or you can't even do one rep, then just keep practicing to get that one rep rather than trying to do other exercises to do it. So maybe stick it at the beginning or the middle of a routine when you feel uh, best. So maybe you don't feel best doing it the first exercise, do it as the second exercise or the third, when you feel more warm or better. Or if you feel that you you're the type of person that burns out quickly, do it at the beginning of the workout. So it depends on your strength and conditioning as well. So that's the pull up. Obviously once you're able to do one, you progress to two, eventually three, four, ten, and whatever amount of numbers that you want to be able to do. And then beyond that point you can actually add a weighted vest or something like that. 